Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Lazio Career Mode. Again, we have wrapped up the Atlanta United uh, series as you guys have watched this. We've done two seasons now, well, three seasons technically we did. Two seasons of the original Atlanta United Career Mode, 2019-2020. Um, uh, and then we moved on to this career mode in Lazio. Actually, did we do three seasons of Lazio? We might have done three seasons of or, uh, three seasons of Atlanta United before we came here. I can't remember. Well, no, because we're in 2021 now. So I guess it was only two seasons. Um, and then we did a Atlanta United 2020 season. That is done and dusted. If you guys want to see any more Atlanta United content on the channel, let me know. Uh, but now we have the Lazio career mode, the Aberdeen career mode, and the um, player career mode, which uh, the way that I plan on doing it for this series is I'm going to be doing the Lazio career mode, um, then like a player career mode, then the Aberdeen, and then player, and then Lazio. So it's going to... Lazio and Aberdeen will alternate, uh, but the player career mode is going to be every other day. So um, just kind of keep that in mind. If you guys do watch this series, it's going to be uploaded twice a week, maybe uh, once or twice a week. So um, and then the player career mode and uh, um, Aberdeen career modes will be going on around the same time. But let's go ahead and hop into the episode. We're going to be playing against uh, Sparta. Is Sparta the same team that's in the Europa League in my Arsenal career mode, my player career mode? I think they are. I'm pretty sure they are, but we're going to run just our normal starting lineup. We could go with a little bit weaker of a squad, but um, just want to hop into it with our strongest team. Haven't played this career mode in a couple weeks, so just want to make sure. I can already tell this game's about to be so loud in my ear. All right, so we're going to hop into it here. Derek Ray and Lee Dixon. I want to say this is the, the this team's in my group in Europa League for Arsenal, but I might be wrong. I can't remember. Either way, our Arsenal player career mode's been going so well. We fit into the squad so well. It's been so much fun just playing it, having a great time with the player career mode again. Running into a couple glitches here and there, but nothing too crazy. I appreciate the support on all of our channels, though. We're almost at 1,400 subs. We may hit it by the time this video comes out. Into Joseph. Decent touch. That's a pen every day, ref. Come on now. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Whew. That pen actually had me worried because I think I got yellow on that. That was a little terrifying. A little terrifying, but we got the goal. I like hitting that like down the middle spot because it makes them feel confident that they can get it so they won't dive. Or if they do dive, sometimes they just straight miss the ball. But let's go, baby. I saw that Joseph run, but I don't think I could have gotten it there. I can get that one, though. Ooh, what a cut. What a finesse shot. Right off the kickoff, we get the ball back. 2-0. Same celebration from Joseph. Calming down the crowd. The king is here. Stays scoring, regardless of the league, regardless of the challenge. Beautiful cutback. Defense couldn't handle him. Love to see it. Back to Sullivan. Down to Joseph again. No way! He already has a hat trick. I swear to God, I'm playing on Legendary. Maybe I should be playing on something harder than Legendary. Is it time to re uh, replace ourselves back amongst the ultimate difficulty challenge? If you guys are new to the channel, I've been I've been playing on ultimate difficulty the majority of this year, but then that patch came out a few months ago um, that made ultimate difficulty like almost borderline impossible. At least for somebody like me who doesn't play FIFA every day, um, I only play it you know like once a week. Oh my God, what is happening? What is going on? How is that not a pen? Was that not in the box? I swear that was in the box. I guess it was edge of the box. I don't know. Down line to Joseph. Pulls it back. Into Sullivan. Beautiful goal. 4 0 in 24 minutes. It might be too easy. Granted, we're playing in Europa League. I'm not going to put too much into it because we have been struggling in Italy 
we are the better team here and we are playing our full starting lineup which usually we don't in Europa League so I'm not gonna put too much into it but we've scored four goals in 24 minutes so I don't, I don't know we'll make subs at halftime Lazari you got the pace I ain't even worried about it I'm just gonna let you run this whole thing Joseph that's a fifth goal 26 minutes in okay I swear to God, the difficulty changed on us or something. This is not ultimate, or this is not legendary. This is not legendary. This team is lost. Four goals for Joseph, one for Sullivan, five, zero, and 26 minutes. Good Lord. What a ball, wait a second. Oh my God, that ball was insane. End of the 45, just added time left. Corner opportunity, probably gonna be one of the last. Oh my God, why'd he punch that? All right, one more corner, hopefully. No Golarinos. Thank you. Hold this up, Sullivan. All right, Sullivan. That'll work. All right, end of the first half. What? What is it? Full five? Five nil? I think it's five nil, right? Jesus Christ. I kind of regather myself. I still can't believe what just happened in this game. The goals all came so close together. I wasn't used to that. Um, let's make some changes here. We're going to bring in Bakambu, uh, Pity Martinez, and Valverde um, just to get some new legs onto the team since we do have such a big lead. Bring on some of the bench boys. Obviously, still some really good players in the team. Everybody's still fully capable of scoring goals. Out to Miggy. Oh my god, pity. That was nasty. How do you not score that? But he gets a second chance and gets the goal. Let's go, baby. Just a simple little skill move, but it gets him into the back line. We finally get a goal. This whole second half has been so slow. It was such a simple move, but it worked. Shot it straight at the keeper's hand the first time. Gets the rebound, puts it into the back of the net. Composure on the half volley and the goal. Let's go, baby. Pity gets a goal. Might be his first goal for the club? I actually can't remember. I can't remember. Exciting nonetheless. That's a win, boys. GG. 6-0. Lazio gets the win. Joseph Martinez, man of the match with his four goals. The undefined glitch is still in the game. Love to see that. Beautiful cut from Joseph on that first goal, man. Beautiful, beautiful. Actually, that was the second goal, wasn't it? Six goals, though. 10.0 rating. They had two shots zero on target. We had nine shots seven on target and six goals. The other on-target shot was, I think, a pity shot that he ended up scoring anyways. So we absolutely love to see that. Let's see. Looking at some of these other matches, I don't really see too many big names in the Europa League this year. Um, Savic is happy with the amount of football that he is getting. Thanks. You're welcome. You need to play more often? You literally just played in the last game. Shut up, bro. <laughs> you're, you're not starting. You're not you're not that good, Bakambu. I'll sell you. If you really want to leave, I'll sell you. I don't mind. Probably our fastest lineup that we have in FIFA. Um, center attacking mid, I guess I could throw in like a pity or something just to really put in some pace, but I'll, I'll use the control of Sullivan in the squad. Um, but that front three is going to be filthy with, uh, with these three up top, man. Joseph may not be as fast as the other guys, but he's a clinical finisher and he'll absolutely bag in the goals. Let's go boys. This is going to be a big game against Napoli here. We'll take a look at the table after this game as well, just to see how we are performing, how we're doing, how everything is looking. Um, but we, we've, we've been on to a really good, really good season this year. Um, obviously, Europa League is probably going to be our best ticket into the top four. I still think that we'll get top four. Actually, I think we need top three in Italy, um, which I still think is entirely possible. But the top really like five is really close in Italy. Oh my God. Oh my god, off a kickoff. What the hell? Dude, that run from Joseph, he holds that defender so well. 
That through ball is insane, dude. Two minutes in. Didn't even didn't even get a cut in the video yet. Or into the episode yet. Or the game. Jesus Christ. I'm losing my mind here, dude. Quarantine's getting to me. It's 80-something degrees outside. Feels incredible. Spent a little bit of time out there today. Want to spend more time out there, man. But I wasn't wearing a mask, and I was kind of feeling bad about it. So I just, I just came back. Went grocery shopping, ran some errands. Enjoyed the sunshine. Kept my distance away from everybody. You know, the usual. Oh, what the heck? How is that not a foul? Beautiful run from Okareki. You already know he's waiting for his duo, but Sullivan's there instead. What a weird shot from Sullivan, but that works. I actually meant to get that all the way to Openda. But it ended up going to the middle of the field. Sullivan's there. He gets a goal. I told you, we don't need four players with the, that level of pace. Sullivan's still going to manage to keep up with the team. He's still pretty quick. He's not 99 pace, but he gets into the places he's needed to be. The Ian Wright reincarnation. Love to see it. Let's go, baby. End of the first half. Let's go, boys. Decent lead against Napoli. We probably could have scored a couple more. But that is A-OK. -okay. Beautiful run in the first two minutes of the match from Joseph Martinez. Bangs it home. Cross body. Keeper wasn't ready for it. Let's go, dude. That through ball is so good from Joseph, or to Joseph. Going to change up the team a little bit. We're going to bring on Pity Martinez. Um, we're going to leave Pity on the left for now. Might end up still making some other changes, but... Um, Openda's been running up and down that sideline the entire game, so give him a little bit of rest since we do have the lead. Bring on Pity Martinez, who did score in the last game. See if he can do it again. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Into Sullivan. Again, not the fastest guy on the pitch, but he does his job. Into Joseph. That's another goal. Assist from Sullivan. Let's go, baby. 3-0 against Napoli. You already know Joseph Martinez is scoring. Look at that, dude. Sullivan's still proven he can be in this squad. Let's go, boys. 3-0 against Napoli. Huge game. Huge game. Huge episode. Oh, Okoreki. Beautiful touch and the goal. Let's go, baby. You know Okoreki had to get in on the fun. He timed his run perfectly. Beautiful little pass in from Joseph Martinez. Nice little touch here from Okareki, though. Just enough to keep it away from the defender. Held the defender off. Smashes it near post. Easy as you like, David Okareki. 4-0 against Napoli. Scoring machines, man. Beautiful ball into Lazari. Okareki, oh, straight at the keeper. Nice touch from Bakambu. Oh, almost back into Okareki. End of the game. 4-0 victory against Napoli. We will absolutely take that, man. What a play, man. Beautiful pass from Okareki into Daniel Sullivan for that goal. Okareki scores. Joseph Martinez scores. Daniel Sullivan scores. And Joseph scored again. So two goals for Joseph. Continuing to try and get up to... What the hell is the go to advance button? There we go. I hate whenever it switches to keyboard because like I don't know what I'm doing like at all. He got t he got a 10.0 rating again. Beautiful from Joseph Martinez. Didn't even have to get a hat trick this time to get it, but I guess he got assist. Julian Gressel wants to play more often, understandably. Um, well, honestly, I don't even know if Marusic is going to still be playing here. I need to start training Julian Gressel as a defender um, because I do want him to replace Marusic as right back. Um, or I need to change him to a midfielder and play him in the midfield. But I do still want to play Jul uh, Julian Gressel in this squad. So um, in the next episode, we'll continue on with the league. Currently, we're sitting in second place, but we have a game in hand on Juventus in first place. So um, they've won nine games. They've lost one. We've won eight games and drawn one. Um, still a little bit ahead of AC Milan and Inter Milan. So um, we're actually in a really, really good place here. Um, I'm surprised Roma's down in 12th. Napoli's in 11th. Udinese's in 9th. Wow, interesting. Torino in 5th. Interesting stuff there. So let's see. Let's look at top goal scorers. Currently, 
Joseph Martinez on 11, uh, Dybala on 8, and Cristiano Ronaldo on 7, still scoring as you would expect, an absolute animal in himself there. So, um, ooh, we did something for the board. What did we do? We increased the club's worth within two seasons. Let's go, boys. We're, we're worth money now. That's awesome to see. But again, in the next episode, we'll be continue on, continuing on with the league. And then we also have another Europa League match against Sparta again. And then uh, the following episode is going to be a massive one. AC Milan and Inter Milan in the same episode. Again, that's going to put us in a very, very good spot to separate ourselves in the top two. And I'm not talking two. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, we're just gonna keep on going dude. We still have a long way to go Obviously the the goal of all of my career modes is to win the Champions League if we're in Europe. So um, There's definitely gonna be another season of this But we want to try win Europa League if we can try to win the league if we can make sure we're in the Champions League next season and make a fantastic beautiful push um, and hopefully send a couple more players to make the best run ever we can in the Champions League and hopefully win it next season. But if you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later. Peace.